23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. This morning, Kern County Public Health reporting another day with more than 200 new COVID-19 cases. The county's dashboard showing 263 new infections. Kern County's total since the pandemic started now sits at more than 114,000 cases. One new de death was reported today and there were no new cases of the Delta variant. That number is currently sitting at 39 locally. It's important to note though that the state is only testing 14% of all positive COVID-19 tests for variants. Kern County Public Health says the majority of COVID-19 cases here in the state have been identified as from the Delta variant. And the number of kids and teens diagnosed with coronavirus nearly doubled in a week. The American Academy of Pediatrics says nearly 72,000 kids and teens were diagnosed between July 22nd and July 29th. That's up from 39,000 the previous week and five, five times as many since the end of June. The American Academy of Pediatrics says kids and teens also represented 19% of all new reported cases in the most recent weekly information report. More than 4 million kids and teens tested positive for COVID since since the start of the pandemic. And the California State Water Board is moving ahead with water restrictions impacting thousands of Central Valley farmers and landowners. The Water Resources Control Board approved an emergency resolution that lets regulators stop water diversions from the state's two largest river systems. There are some exceptions, including water for drinking, cooking and cleaning, among other things. It comes as severe drought has rapidly depleted the state's reservoirs. The Sacramento and San Joaquin River systems account for at least some of the water supply for two thirds of the state's nearly 40 million residents. The regulations won't go into effect for another two weeks. Brandon. Now it is scorching hot in parts of Kern County today. 111 at Ridgecrest and China Lake, 110 at California City. We're better here in the valley, but we're still hot. Sitting at 101 right now here in Bakersfield. So heat wave number six continues to rage on. I think we will break out of that though here in the valley by tomorrow. We've got some cooler air moving in, so temperature drops to about 98 degrees. It's not cool by any means. That's right at average for this time of year, but at least it's a step in the right direction. You'd see we're a little bit slower to cool off over in eastern Kern. Still close to 110 there. At least the excessive heat warning will be expired. By the time we get to the weekend, temperatures jumping back up into the triple digits and right around 100 degrees. Possibly could see a few days in the double digits as we head into next week. But no extreme heat for us here in the valley. That is good news. Winds pick up a little bit on our Thursday as that cooler air starts to push in. And then we get a little bit hot again as we head into the day on Saturday. And that's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com